Hey, are you struggling with what to say or just plain striking out? Well, I'm gonna share with you how to convince someone to join network marketing. So first I'm gonna teach you a mindset shift to totally change your pitch. Then I'm gonna share with you a story that goes right along with that and then I'm gonna give you the number one gift around this topic. So you're watching a video on how to convince someone to join network marketing. And I'm gonna encourage you to get out of the convincing business. It's something that is exhausting, it can be very frustrating, and maybe you are searching for that because you're struggling with what to say or you have a particular person in mind. And so let me help you do this better. There's a difference between convince and persuade. Convince means I wanna get someone to do what I want them to do for me, for my benefit. Persuade is I wanna get someone to do something they already want to do for their benefit. Now the only way that you can possibly do that is you need to know what they want. What is it that's important to them? And so let me share with you a story that will help illustrate this. So I had prospected someone and I had gotten them to watch the, the presentation. And, and a lot of times, by the way, frustration comes out of you trying to close someone who just hasn't had enough information. And so I always made it a, a process of if I'm talking to someone about the business, I want them to watch a presentation first, whether it's attend something live, watch a video, et cetera. So had them watch a video. I followed up with him and I asked, hey, what'd you like about what you saw? And that's a very simple question and it's a question that I would highly recommend you start using if you're using presentations, hopefully you are. And so I follow up with him, I say, hey, what'd you like about what you saw? And he says, ah, you know, uh, I'm just not interested. I, I'm, just, I'm just not gonna do it right now. And I say, okay. Now, just to step back a second, if someone watches a presentation, well, they watched it because they want something. It's not that they're bored. It's not that they have all the time on their hands and I'm just like, ah, every day I just watch a different presentation. No, they, they wanted something. They were looking for something. And so the best question, when someone watches your presentation but then tells you no, ask them this question. Well, what were you hoping to see? What were you hoping to see? will help reveal their activity. It'll help show them what were they what were they looking for? Because if I know that, then I have a much better chance of knowing what's important to them and being able to persuade them to take action, which is for their benefit. They want it. So here we go. He says, "Well, I was looking to, you know, make some extra money." And make extra money is one of those cosmetic answers that doesn't equip you enough to know what they really want. And it's kind of like losing weight. If someone tells you they want to lose weight, Find out why. If you sell weight loss, find out why. Because if you can dig into their deeper why, why they really wanna lose weight, is it because they uh, will be seeing their ex, is it because they wanna fit in that little black dress, whatever, right? Finding out their why, their real why, is very powerful. And so he says, well, you know, I wanted to make some extra money. I said, well, why? What, what were you hoping to do with the money? Why, why did you want to make extra money? Took me a couple times to ask this in a couple different ways, but eventually he says, well, I have four teenage daughters. And, and I thought, yeah, that sounds expensive. <laughs> uh, but I don't know where he's going here. And so he shares with me that, you know, these daughters are everything to him. And he's done everything for them. And they wanted a pony, he got him a pony. They wanted Disney, they went to Disney, right? He's done everything for them their entire lives. And as they're getting older, he's realizing that, you know what? they're gonna be getting married in, you know, in a few years possibly, and it's usually on the uh, you know, bride's side to pay for the wedding, and he wants to give them their dream wedding they've always dreamed about, but he doesn't have that kind of money. He knows how expensive that is. And so now that I'm armed with this information, it gives me an unfair advantage to really help him, to be honest, because he wants something and he doesn't know how to get it. I can actually help him get that thing, so that's called persuasion not convincing, I'm not convincing him at all. And so I asked him a couple questions, and these are maybe a little unfair questions, but these will help you to get more people to say yes to you. And so I asked him, is this something that's important to you? And, you know, which I kind of had to, you know, say with a straight face there, because 
I already know. I have a daughter, so I know how important that is to him. I mean, I may have saved a bank teller's life that day, right? Uh, I think he was about ready to rob a bank. And so uh, he says to me, well, yeah, of course, you know, of course this is important to me. I don't think there was anything in his life more important. I asked him another maybe unfair question. And I said, well, if you don't do this, how will you come up with the extra money? If he had that answer, we wouldn't be talking. He would be doing that thing, but he doesn't have that answer. And so what I did with those questions is I painted this scenario that maybe the only way he's gonna come up with the money is through this business. And so at that point, I knew that that was his realization. And I just asked him, I said, let me, let me ask you a question. Will you be coachable and follow my instructions if I show you exactly what to do so that you can start making money? He said yes, and he joined the team. That's persuasion. So before I share with you the number one gift around this topic, make sure that you like and subscribe. We're giving you daily content to help you become the best network marketer possible. Okay, you ready for the number one gift I can give you? That is, be willing to walk away. Stop trying to close every single person you ever talk to. I have met so many people over the years that had people in their team, they wish they hadn't worked so hard to recruit because they're pains in the butt. And this is something that you really need to embrace that you can walk away. You can decide that someone is too toxic for your team. Would you, do you want them in with your team? And understand that there are just as many people that I'm grateful for that I didn't recruit. People that would have stirred up negativity. People that were very demanding. And, and this is something that you have this power. You don't have to recruit every single person. You can walk away. And you know, like for example, if someone, if I'm talking to someone and they feel the need to just treat me like garbage, that's the deal, okay, later. They may think they're disqualifying me. I'm disqualifying them. I'm walking away from them. And if you are willing to have this kind of posture, and let me just define this. Posture is the belief in what you have, regardless of external acceptance or approval. And this is something that is so powerful for you to get in network marketing, because you already have it in other places. So if someone came to you and they said, hey man, I was on WikiLeaks last night and turns out, Electricity is a scam. You'd say, mm, I don't, I don't, right? As you turn the ceiling fan off, you'd say, mm, I, I don't know about that. You have posture around electricity. You know, you may not know how it works, who, who does, but it works. You know, it's real. If you're at the playground with your kid and someone comes to you and says, you know, I really think your kid is ugly. <laughs> You're not gonna say, no, 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 they have a great personality and didn't you see their ears and their little nose? You're gonna say, get the heck out of here, buddy, before I pop you in the face, because you have posture around your kids, okay? You don't just take garbage from anybody because you feel you have to, you have posture in those things. Have posture in network marketing. Know that it works. I've seen it work for all races, all ages, all walks of life, all backgrounds. I've seen professors and scientists as well as homeless and high school dropouts create success in network marketing. You don't have to recruit everyone. You can walk away. Here's something that I've realized from working with and being one of the top recruiters in network marketing. Every top recruiter has posture. Every one of them. Every single one of them, they do not just take abuse. They are postured. They know where they're going and they're not afraid to leave someone behind if they need to. And when you have more posture, you actually start recruiting more. So we had an attorney out in Sacramento in our team. And he tells me, he goes, man, I don't understand why I'm not recruiting. Everyone's telling me no. And I asked him, I said, okay, well, what are you saying? He said, well, I go to him and I tell him it's a no brainer and that they should do it and it's awesome. And I said, okay, got it. Now, is that what you say around your uh, law firm? Now he had a very successful multi-million dollar law firm. And, and I'm wondering, is, is he taking the same approach? He said, well, well, no, it's a six month waiting list and you have to put a retainer down to even meet with me. I'm like, oh, okay. So you have posture around that, just not this. So posture means you don't need their acceptance or approval. You don't need their sale. You don't need them to join you're gonna create success despite all of that. That's when you know you have posture and it will actually increase your conversions. So if you truly want to get better at convi, oh no, no, no.
persuading people to join your network marketing organization, then make sure you check out my 30 prospecting and recruiting questions. These have been tested and proven. They absolutely work. And you can get them right now for free by just clicking the link in the description.